freeze right here, but a bit of frost yeah. overnight for some of our neighbors to the north. Yeah. In fact, National Weather Service, I saw a little bulletin from them. Carbon and Monroe counties. Yes. Saw a frost growing done there. Yes. Did well, I surprise you? Well, well uh, Joe, I'm I'm amazed at your meteorological <laughs> knowledge. I was yeah. just on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was it was just chilly. hanging out. It was chilly. Much of the area in the 30s. I woke up in the 30s at my house. I'm well. in Lower Montgomery. Yeah. And that fog isn't that fitting that it just blew through Missouri where uh, last night we just <laughs> shut down everything. Right. Yes, <laughs> right out of there. I was expecting of... doom and gloom. <laughs> exactly. And there it was. All right. Well, not quite as cold tonight as uh, meteorologist Joe Holden. <laughs> has just uh, informed us. Only hat I haven't worn. That's well, you know what? We'll we'll work, we'll get you ready. We'll get <laughs> we'll school you up on it. All right, we are looking at beautiful clear skies. If you head to Cape May, anywhere down the shore, a beautiful sunset out there. Let's take a look at the numbers right now. 64 degrees in Philadelphia. The winds are out of the west and they're gently warming us up. The dew point 34, and I point this out because it is very dry dew points that we're dealing with. Dew point, of course, is the measure of the moisture in the air. If it's low, you're going to feel comfortable. Look at this. When you get dew points into the 40s, it's crisp 30s, that is just downright dry. Lots of static electricity out there. So what's next for us? How about a slow warm up? We'll get back to the 70s, but not so fast. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, we are going to be looking at uh, rain late in the week, and it is cold, not cold, but it is cold next weekend. We're going to be looking at a return to the low 60s. So StormScan 3 shows that high pressure still in control, clear skies out there, but to the north we have a frontal boundary and this is going to drift in our direction. This comes through tomorrow. It comes through and washes out. What does that mean? No rain, just a few clouds here and there. So the high pressure will slowly move off to the south and the east, and we'll watch as those clouds start to move in. As we head through the overnight hours, you can see tomorrow morning just a mix of sun and clouds from about the city north and west. Then we see some of the clouds drifting through in the afternoon. That is the front coming through by 9 o'clock tomorrow night. It's out of here. We clear out very quickly on the backside. And then Tuesday, we end up with plenty of sunshine. We see our winds turn to the south and the west, and we warm up nicely. We head right on into Wednesday. Wednesday, we start to cloud up. So Wednesday, we're going to see increasing clouds. And that is because we have a warm front coming through, and we do have a cold front on the way for Thursday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all dry. It is late Wednesday night, and all day Thursday that we're facing a shower or storm. I do think the best chance will be in the afternoon, but we do have to carry our umbrellas that day. Maybe something Lingering very early on Friday before we dry out. So it really is a one day wonder. For tonight, we're looking at 44 in Philadelphia, 47 down the shore, and we're looking at 48 in the Lehigh Valley. It will be a clear and chilly night out there, make no mistake about it. 72 by the time we get into Tuesday. So there are our 70s. We hit the upper 60s tomorrow, 72 Tuesday, 73 Wednesday, showers and storms on Thursday, and then back to those low 60s as we head into next weekend. And the weather in Atlanta. Right now on Tuesday, it's looking just fine. Back to you guys. Very good, Tommy. Thank you.